What's up, comicbook.com? BD here in the studio at San Diego Comic Con. The show rolls on, and right now, we're talking about National Treasure, the new series coming to Disney Plus. I'm joined by my friends. They refer to themselves as the Wibs, Cormac and Marianne. Wib <laughs> that, but That's for now, okay. I, it's just the Wibs for me forever. Yeah. I, yeah. I feel like we became best friends yes. with that. So thank you for welcoming me in. Uh, welcome to Comic Con. This is your first time at Comic Con. Yeah. Yes, it is. Have you had a chance to see anything or anyone cool so far? Everyone's cool. Yeah. <laughs> we saw a great Joker in the lobby last night. Amazing. Oh, yeah? Look, just yeah. like Heath Ledger, we just like stopped us in our tracks. It was yeah. awesome. And a Walking Dead zombie walking through was very impressive. That's fun. <laughs> Does, uh, when you come to Comic Con, you see all the signage or you see all, any of the programming. I, I love hearing from people when you're here with your own project. It's still got to be exciting to see the others. Is there anything you're like, oh, that I, that's caught your eye? You're like, yeah, I want to watch that or I want to meet those people or buy that thing. Oh God! Everything like the, what we watch in the shadows, we we haven't seen it yet, and we're like, oh, oh God, yeah, that's right. We got to put up. We've been in Baton Rouge, so we've been filming, so we didn't see a lot. Of, we haven't seen a lot of stuff. Um, but that and Severance, we saw Ben Stiller and um, the guy from Parks and Rec. Sorry, I'm really Scott. I'm Scott um, in the green room, and that was like thrilling for us because we're like, ah, celebrities. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> you never know. Teen Wolf with our daughter, so now Teen Wolf's coming the back. New we're like, oh my God! <laughs> oh yeah, that's so cool. They were in here yesterday. They're super fun guys. That's cool. That's cool. You never know at Comic Con you run into anybody. So let's talk about National Treasure. I mean, you guys are going back to it years later, uh, bringing it back as a series. What was it? What was it like to learn that it, the story is going to continue and you're going to you got the call? Um, oh God, we couldn't be more thrilled. And also because t TV is like the thing now. Like you, and, and it's fast. Like you know, I mean, although it was three years in development, um, <laughs> when the, but then when they finally decided to greenlight it, it was fast. And here we are. I mean, we. We, it's a, it's amazing. Yeah, um, what can I say? We we're very we we're excited and scared because it's uh, <laughs> it, you know expanding the universe is it was was fun, but it was giving back to all those puzzles and pretzel logic. <laughs> we and, have to and, figure out. Yeah, and a fresh new cast. It's it's uh, you know it's young people. Um, even though it's a complete extension of the the two movies, it's um, it's 17 years later after the last movie. Cibola has been found. Uh, Templar Treasure has been found. Ben Gates is a huge movie star, but not in the show. But he's like famous in their world as like a Bob Ballard found the Titanic sort of guy. And Riley Poole's written two more books, and he has a podcast. So we've like definitely continued like what we could uh, from that from that. And then Peter Sadowski, as you know, Harvey Keitel is coming back, and he's you know 17 years older and has a grandson now. So we tried yeah. to like just expand from the actual universe. That's gonna be cool to see it all connect. I, I would love to hear like when you were when you guys were all talking about how this could connect to the films that that were almost 20 years ago. Uh, do you, did you think about like we want to welcome new people into a national treasure story, but also we want to reward the people who have seen the movies, which is probably all of us by now. But do you, do you think about those things? Oh God, it keeps us up at night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we really, yeah. I am like, I, I, we're I, like I, Captain I, and Tennille. I, I talk too I'm much like, and he's I'm very quiet. I'm always amazed by you, so keep going. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we wanted, uh, we wanted to bring back everyone we could. Like we talked about bringing back everyone. Um, you know the the logistics of that is never like mm -hmm. Nick Cage is too busy and uh, but then we also wanted to to do a female centric uh, treasure hunting story so we really wanted to go a uh, younger also um, people who are just that's why the edge of history is kind of a double meaning it's not only like this treasure is the edge of history but it's also these kids mm -hmm. are on the I hate calling them kids because they're grown-ups but um, they're so much younger than we are um, but they're um, they're on the edge of like what are we going to be in this world you know like that yeah. age of like what's our history what are we going to be when we you know grow up what are we going to leave behind if anything um so we really wanted to do that we have a female bad guy which is Catherine zeta jones which is great to add to the pantheon of uh, uh bad guys uh, ed harris and sean bean in the universe which we love she's amazing she was our first choice we were so lucky to get her and then also the treasure story is female centric too like who hid the treasure why did they hide it? There's a very, there's some very interesting characters in the past that we want people to learn about that are really, really oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, cool. I actually wanted to talk about Catherine Zeta-Jones playing a villain here, Billy Pierce. Uh, can you, what can you tell me about that? And I, I've, I've tried to find everything I can. What can you tell me about the character uh, and, and how she, what she brought to the, to the set? Keep oh going. The treasure is always about uh, something personal. It's never about finding and getting Money. rich. Mm -hmm. So it's always about for our, our lead, it's about family. 
And it's the same with, with Billy Pierce. There's a personal reason why she wants to find this treasure. And um, it's, uh, she's, uh, Catherine amazed us. I mean, she's such a movie star and we were so lucky to have her. And every day on the set, Marianne and I would just go, oh my God, look at what she's, she's doing. So she's so good, what is she doing with our, our yeah. dialogue? She's making it, she elevates she everything. Elevate, yeah. yeah. And she's a she's a crypto billionaire. I don't know if that's in the that's been like an like that's who she is. She's you know, like she has her own plane and she's got this like staff that's really interesting. And you're like, what is her world? And so we had had a lot of fun with her. And she's also she plays that timeless sophistication. But and we said in somewhere that I don't know if we said it in the panel, but she also she is still that girl from Mask of Zorro where you feel like the adventure spirit in her, like that, she brings so many levels. So we were very lucky oh, to get her. Oh, that's gonna be fun, that's gonna be fun. Justin's back as Riley. Woo. I'd love to hear about where, we, where that picks up. Can you say, uh, what, how much can you say of anything? Yeah, we can't say why he appears, but we can say when he appears in the show, he, he, is, he ends up, he, Oren is a big fan. I think we, that got spoiled on the panel, which is fine. Oren, someone asked, Oren, do you, had you read Bradley Poole's books? And uh, Antonio Cipriano said, yeah, yes, as a matter of fact, I'm a huge fan. I listen to his podcast and I'm all, so uh, that got leaked, That which is fine, because it, it is actually um, a big part of the show. And, he, and so the, our, our treasure hunters go to him for help. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. And when it, when it comes to the Nicolas Cage of it all, it's, it's like, it's almost become, like National Treasure has grown bigger and bigger over time with Nicolas Cage, and like there are memes about him stealing things and stuff <laughs> like that. Uh, is the door left open for that possibly if this goes on? Is there, are there references, is there enough references for us to be satisfied or satiated by, yeah. from the memes and the legend that has grown? <laughs> Yes, I mean, we want nothing more than to um, to get him in the show, and um, the show talks. You know, we talk about him all the time. He he is still a legend in our universe, as he should be, and in life, we just Nicholas Cage was. Our, I don't know if you ever said this. He was our first choice for uh, Ben Gates from the beginning when Cormac and I were first writing the National Treasure scripts. We were like, he's the perfect combination of nerd and like adventure guy. So. Hey, he's, yeah. he's, crazy. he's having a crazy resurgence too right now. I know, so, you know, I know, so, so great. Yeah, 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 it's cool, it's cool to see it. And it, I also, the last thing I want to talk about is how this is set, like, you know, it's, it's been so many years since the movies. How does today's world kind of factor into thievery? It's a, there's, there is a, the history has changed. The way we look at history has changed. How do the characters kind of incorporate the today's world into their journey now? You ask a very good question and Cormac has a very good answer to the, how we look at history from the point of view of your father. Who was an immigrant? Oh, he, I yeah. think he's talking about the technology that we're using now. Oh, with, or I thought like, he was talking uh, about the point of view of history. Yeah, it's point of view, history. How we view history has changed. How we use technology to, to view like, it. Because our our Tasha character can really tap into the technology of history. But in in, in the making of this, my dad, who is not uh, an American citizen, he was born in Ireland, and he went there and he lived there until like third grade, and then he moved to England. And he had learned Irish history to third grade. Then he moves to England and he learns English history. And he realizes, wait a minute, the Irish are the bad guys and the English are the good guys. And then he moved to the United States and he was like, oh, I see. So the English are the bad guys over here and the Americans are the good guys. So he was always telling us, well, history is just whoever's telling the history. Mm -hmm. uh, he learned that at a very uh, young age. And that's sort of what he would always talk to us about. So we're just sort of... We, we like that modern take uh, takeaway is that uh, history is told, you know, by the victors and what, how we teach history in America might not be, you know, at least we really did want to approach it from this diverse cast and like, uh, um, anyways, it's a big takeaway in the treasure story is uh, how history is is perceived. That's awesome. I can't wait to see that. Well, thank you so much for coming by the studio. Congratulations on going back to National Treasure. Yay. I can't wait to see it for myself. And uh, comicbook.com. Make sure you stay tuned to all our channels for more from San Diego Comic-Con. I'm BD. I'll see you there.